Live from San Diego's news source, this is a special edition of 10 News. Well, up next on this special edition of 10 News, it is an annual tradition at Camp Pendleton. It's awesome to see everybody come out to support wounded veterans. The life-changing mission behind this tournament today. Well, Camp Pendleton opened his doors to a new unique football game today. Sure was. Dozens showed up, some with prosthetic limbs to raise money for injured troops. Oh, that's a flag guard! Yeah! It's a tradition that dates back more than 30 years. The Buddy Bowl started in 1977 as a reunion of friends. Now with Nico Marcolongo at the helm, it's blossomed into a charity flag football tournament. All the money is raised to support our injured troops and first responders lead active lifestyles through the Challenge Athletes Foundation Operation Rebound Program. This former Marine served twice in Iraq and knows the emotional and physical tolls of combat. But this game... All right, man, EX, what do you say? Includes those who All lost right, limbs in war. I was in uh, Vietnam in a combat unit in 1969 and uh, I stepped on a landmine and uh, got blown up in the air. Run! Dan Oakland was just 21 when he lost his leg. Now he's focused on helping this generation's returning troops. We had it pretty tough, but the kids today go back uh, second and third and fourth time. You know, we, if we made it through a, uh, you know, our year, we never had to go back. It's awesome to see everybody come out to support wounded veterans. Get the ball! Lindsay Hood didn't lose her leg in war, but she has the spirit of a warrior. It's just a mindset. Her prosthetic leg is because of a birth defect. She says it's never been an obstacle for her. If you want to be competitive and go out and um, play a sport, you can. Doesn't you know having disability that won't stop you. Well, we checked just a short while ago and learned that the Buddy Bowl raised $42,000 today. This year, the tournament was also played in Denver, Vegas, and Millis, Massachusetts.